just waiting on the chopper pilot at the moment. The weather hasn't quite decided what it wants to do. It's um, just coming in and then lifting again. So it's just not looking too flash at the moment, but then it lifts and clags and lifts and clags, eh, Moose? Hey? Hey, Moosey. So fingers crossed we can get in. It's apparently raining in town. So we'll see, hey, buddy? Dad had flown in five days earlier, so he caught up over a cup of coffee on his hunting and what animals he'd seen. Once I got my gear squared away, we decided we'd get out and stretch the legs for a quick afternoon hunt between the heavy showers. Nothing was seen, heard or smelled, but it was great to get out in the fresh air. See this jawbone off the form. See, one, two, three, four. The fifth one's just erupting. They should mm -hmm. have six. And also, you count up one, two. The third one, see how it's got three pieces to the, to the one, two. Yep. So um, that's, that's a very young animal, classed still as a um, full model. Oh, cool. Yeah. We got, we've got mint and rosemary lamb and roast beef and vegetables. Very oh, good. No. Oh. What are we looking at for here? And um, yeah, get a chance. I'm in front of you, something here, and yeah, got time. <laughs> My Indian yep. rifle. Sound good? Sounds good. Walking up through the clag, we could smell a stag. He soon started roaring out to our left, so it had been a bit of a waiting game for the weather to lift. Finally, he spotted the stag. So Dad now has a fun task of getting a picture of him without the bipod. Do you regret leaving that behind this morning? Yes. <laughs> always heaps. <laughs> I haven't got a tripod here, so it's going to be shaky. How far away do you reckon it is? Oh, God. On a... It's just a big wide eight. Took a bit of finding, but we got there. Making our way back to the hut we could smell a deer. Even though I knew one was reasonably close, I still managed to get a fry when we spooked it. Like a bull at a gate, Dad was running into the bush. I had absolutely no idea what was going on. I was more concerned on trying to keep up with him and not ask over. He later explained that we needed the wind on our side and had to take action pretty quick, otherwise it would all be over. How are you feeling, Lucy? <sighs> that happened a bit quick, didn't it? Look at your hand. <sighs> he was like 10 metres away. 
seen his antlers and then he's so close it was like yeah he coming real quick awesome oh, the pressure <laughs> yeah that's what it's about hopefully he's just up there I didn't expect him to be right there yeah he was coming in he was just in there 10 metres away when Lucy shot even I'm shaking that was awesome Hold it up to the camera. Oh, my hand's still shaking. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so we've just seen her, haven't we, Lucy? Yep. What do you reckon? Go forward. <laughs> She's pretty pumped. Just uh, go forward quietly and we'll just make sure he's dead because this is where people can get caught. Here he is there. Just, just make sure he's... Uh, he might even be Oh yeah. It's pretty even though. Awesome. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, great. Well, it's not about the size of the antlers on this hunt. It's about Lucy. Well done, mate. Give us a thumbs up because that was awesome. That happened bloody quick. Oh, yeah. Right, what do you reckon, Lucy? Your first uh, roaring stag. Pretty exciting stuff, eh? Very. Came in a lot quicker than I anticipated. I thought we had a bit more time. Well, I saw the shot. I could see the dust either side of his, mm. of his body and uh, sounded pretty good. But uh, how's the hand, Lucy? Has it stopped uh, shaking? Yep. Yeah. Uh, they've they'll, stopped now. They've stopped now. They were shaking a lot there before. But... Okay, shot placement. Lucy wants me to give you a quick spiel about this, but uh, there's Lucy's shot there. She was above him. She put it into the shoulder. Um, so come down through this direction and straight through into the engine room. So that's basically, I think, the line of shot through there. Um, I've seen dust come off the other side. I don't know whether it was just the shot or whether the actual bullet went through. I thought we'll have another look and see if we can actually find the exit wound once we get the skin off. Um, but basically, you've got to think about where your bullet's going to go through, not where it enters the stag. So if it's quartering away or, or towards you, um, it's no use if, if you're shooting in this direction here, uh, he's quartering away, it's no use putting the bullet in or, or shooting him in the shoulder here, aiming for here. You want the bullet to go through your engine room, so you'd be, you'd be aiming back through here somewhere if you're coming from this direction and you want to think about where the bullet's going to end up and where, it, where it's going to go through and you want it going right through your engine room same if he's quartering on to you a wee bit here you're not going to aim for the shoulder you're going to aim slightly forward of the shoulder because what you're wanting it is that bullet to go through through his uh, lungs and his heart and bits and pieces so yeah you've just got to think where that bullet's going to go through and where it's going to end up um, so that's that's a quick spiel on it um, might help some of you something to think about in the heat of the moment <laughs> We sat on our clearing and watched till it was dark. Dad had seen these guys come out earlier on in the week as well. Lucy Stag, we port. Is that right, Lucy? You we port. No, that's plenty. No? That's plenty. I'll have the same level, eh? Yeah. How many mils is that? You have the, oh, the same limit as this in your cups of two litre one. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> well, good. Well done, Lucy. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers.
We left this absolute war hammer not wanting to ruin our hunt for the day ahead. Uh, Bit warmer with that sun. Oh yes, makes a lot better. <laughs> Walking along the track we could smell a stag. We heard some movement up to our right and decided to sneak up for a look. We dumped our packs and away we went. With fresh sign, a strong scent and nice bush we were ready for action. However, he must have caught our wind and outwitted us. Back on track, we decided to continue on and find a good spot for lunch. Smoko? Mm hmm. Lunch time? Pretty good. Mm. Good part of the country. Oh, yeah, pretty my views. Through the bottom mm -hmm. of the, the scree where he can't, where yeah. he, he crossed that time. Yeah. You go across into that, into the first, where it first meets those cedar rock. Got him. Nice, that was great. Man, he looks good. Yeah, he's pinged us. Stay still. Although he was impressive, he wasn't quite what we were after, so we started making our way back to the hut. That. We used to, uh, I think I told you, Goat's hearts, we used to stuff them full of bread and bits and pieces and roast them in the, in the fire. Put, really? And put tin foil around them mm -hmm. and throw them in the fire and the embers, yeah, cook them that way. We were lucky enough to see our eight pointer again and watched an epic sunset. The valley looked as though it was on fire.
seen one over there. Where is one of us from that mud? Although nothing was shot today, we had a good catabatic wind in our face with a strong stag scent all morning. We were tracking plenty of fresh sign. The hills were pretty quiet though, only hearing one roar. We finished off our hunt with a nice anabatic wind on our way back down the ridge. Lily, our chopper pilot, let us know she'll be making her way in soon so we could dodge the bad weather coming in. We'd left the hindquarters in a tree, so we literally had to run up to where I'd shot my stag and retrieve the meat in time for our flight out. 